In this presentation I'm going to look at computing the median, quartiles and the interquartile range of a data set. I'm also going to look at the quantile function and two keys five number summary. Now I have this data set here, dat1, and I'm going to find the median of this. Now important to know is the number of elements in this data set. Now we're going to use the length command here to determine how many values are in this data set. There are actually 10 values. Now the number of values is quite important in determining the median. If it's an even number, the median is computed one way. If it's an odd number of values, the median is computed a slightly different way. So first off, let's look at the median of dat1, an even number size data set. This is the average, 16.5 is the average of these two numbers here. These are the inner pair uh, of values of the ordered data set. 12, 13, 14 and 15 are all less than it. And 18, 22, 22 and 29 are greater than this inner pair. I have the second data set, DAT2. Now this is very similar to DAT1, except it has this extra value here, 34. Let's double check the length of that. 11 numbers there, so it's an odd number data set. And let's compute the median there of that. That 2, and it's 17. So this is, 17 is the innermost value of this data set. There are five values less than it, and five values greater than it. So that's the median. Now we're going to look at percentiles, and uh, quartiles and percentiles. So we have the two quartiles we're specifically interested in is the third quartile, Q3. Now this is equivalent to the 75th percentile, 75th percentage percentile. Q1 is the 25th percentile and the interquartile range is the difference between these two numbers. Now there's no uh, um, command that will directly act, uh, compute the quartile as such. So we're going to use this function called the quantile and we're going to specify the name of the data set and we're going to specify the percentage as a proportion. So the first quartile, I made a little spelling mistake there, the first quartile, Q1, can be computed as follows. So that is Q1 there, is 14.25. I'm going to compute the third quartile now and that's the 75th percent percentile and the Q3 is therefore 21. Now just to be clear the median is the 50th uh, percentage percentile so we're not going to look at that anymore that's the median there. So the interquartile range of DAT1 is the difference between Q1 and Q3. So there we have it there 6.75 that's the difference between 21 and 14.25, 6.75. Now we're going to look at Tukey's five number summary. Now I'm just going to use the command there that we would use to determine this first. Five num, that one, okay. Now this is the, these five values are the, this is the lowest value, this is the minimum. This is the quartile one, Q1. This is Q2, this is the median. This is Q3 and maximum. Now you notice that these two values are different uh, from the values we've uh, computed using the quantile function. That is really the thing is with small data sets, there's no uh, set way of computing Q1 and Q3. With larger data sets the difference is negligible but for small data sets you could have great discrepancies depending on whether on which approach you use. So the approach used for 5num is different from the approach used from quantile. So just be mindful of that in future but uh, this is in for larger data sets it doesn't matter so much. So it's a very useful uh, five number summary. Again that's the minimum that's the first quartile, Q1, that's the median, Q3, and the maximum.